Right, hi there, my name is Max Wolf. I'm a TA for CS61A, Spring 2015, and I'm going over the infamous horse mask problem from fall 2012, uh, the same year that I took the course. This is an environment diagram problem, and let's jump into it. Okay, so environment diagram problem, pretty typical. We're asked to fill in the environment diagram that results from executing the code on the left until the entire program is finished and error occur occurs or all frames are filled. Um, Okay, great. So we they start us off with a global frame that has a horse defined and a mask defined, which is the same things that we have over here. So we've defined a uh, a function horse that takes as an argument mask, and mask is equal to a lambda function, so some function that takes as an argument horse. Okay, we're not going to read this code body yet until we actually call the function. So now we're gonna we have a function call in here. Let's evaluate our operators and our operands. So horse is equal to a function in our global frame. Mask is equal to a function in our global frame, so we're good to go. We can call the function now. Let's make a new frame. Frame one is equal to horse. We're going to use the true function name, right? We're going to take an argument mask, and it's defined globally. So our parent is equal to global. So first thing we're going to do is create a uh, local variable for our arguments, so mask is equal to the argument that we passed in for mask right up here in horse. So we passed here mask, mask evaluated to lambda horse. So we're going to set our local variable equal to the thing that we passed in. So our argument is equal to the thing we passed in. Now we can actually start reading the body of the function to find a new variable horse. It's a local variable. It's going to be equal to whatever mask evaluates to. Mask evaluates to this function lambda, so we're going to have horse point to the function lambda as well. All right, so now we're going to read the second line. We define a new function, function mask. It's going to take an argument horse, and it's defined in frame one. It's defined by horse right here. Okay, so we are going to change masks pointer from lambda horse to this new function mask. And we do that because mask is the name associated with this function and we've defined it here so it's going to overwrite this local this local variable right here. All right, so now we're going to return horse called with mask. So let's evaluate our operator and our operand. Our operator here is horse horse is the function lambda horse and our argument is mask which is our new function mask which we just defined okay great so now we're ready to create a new frame let's create a frame f2 it's going to be equal to lambda and its parent is global and it's lambda because we're calling this horse right which is equal to this lambda okay so now we can actually see what what lambda takes lambda takes an argument horse so now we need to, so we've created a local variable for this horse, and we're going to assign it to whatever we passed in to our call to horse, which in this case was the function mask. So let's point a horse up to mask. And now we can read the body of our lambda function. Our lambda function includes a call to horse. It's going, we're going to return a call to horse with the arguments too. So let's evaluate our operand, our operator. Our operator is horse, which is the function mask. And the arguments, the operands, are two, which we just know to be the integer two. All right, so now we're ready to create a new function or a new uh, frame. So we're going to create frame three. It's going to be mask with a parent of f1. Oops. Okay. So mask takes an argument horse. So let's start by creating a local variable. Now what did we pass in? We passed in two. Okay, so now we can read the, uh, the body of the function mask. And all we're gonna do is return two. Is we're gonna return whatever horse evaluates two, which is two. Now back to our lambda function. Our lambda function is gonna return whatever the call to horse was. So horse, which was our call to mask right here, returned two, so we're gonna return two. Okay. And so, and our finally, the, the first call that we made, this horse call, is going to return the, um, the call to the value of the lambda expression that we called. Okay, so 
our return value of this lambda is 2, so we're going to return what that was, which is going to be 2. And now we finished with our environment diagram. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the follow-up.